Oh, Alright, Star Wars Paladin here. Looks like we got a Civil War. This is probably going to be my last game for at least a bit. I've been playing this non stop for something like freaking. Not non stop, I've been doing other things. About three hours. Managing and balancing everything else at the same time. <clears throat> well, that's an interesting looking suit. I'm trying to. Looks like Loki. Are you supposed to be Loki? Alright, let's check out this gear. <laughs> uh, this is the. Oh, this is the Orbron set for. Um, for. Mercenaries. Crap, I'm friggin', friggin' tired. I want to do some uh, Galactic Starfighter. Make sure my browser is closed here. I've had it screwed up before where it's recorded my browser the whole damn game. Um, it says red down here, though. I think that means that this is the video it's recording. Anyway, I wanted to finish... Extremist is PvP suit. I'm um, actually three pieces away. Not counting my relics. Relics are the only thing that kept expertise on them. When my suit got reformatted, pre Makeb PvP switches. This would normally be where I would get into a whole discussion about the objectivity of women in video games and women using their sex appeal to get what they want and how guys play female characters and act like women and how guys act like pigs and MMOs and chase women out of them and make them feel like really uncomfortable like the back of a Volkswagen and uh... But I'm not going to because I am too freaking tired and that's a really played out discussion that nobody can agree on um, what I will talk about however is those assholes that demand to know what freaking gender you are uh, you're sick if you have to ask that why don't you just not worry about it? I think that's all I'm going to really say about that. Uh, the other thing that I'll say is uh, I don't know why you need to ask how old people are when you see a female character. Uh, it's none of your damn business. How old a girl is, why don't you just not ask? It's none of your freaking business. Um... Imagine if their dad if their dad was standing there. Would you ask if their dad was standing there? No, he'd beat your ass, wouldn't he? Yeah, so don't ask. Um, it's freaking ridiculous. I hate, absolutely hate people like that. Um, if I see people doing that, I freaking call them out right in front of everybody. There's no legitimate reason ever to just blind ask girls their age. Um, you wouldn't do it to an older woman. She'd beat your ass, too. You're not going to freaking do it to a child, either. In my opinion, you're freaking sick. You may not feel sick yet, but you are. I know your perverted mind. I know what you're thinking. Even if you're never going to tell anybody what you're thinking. I'm not stupid. And, um... I tell that to, uh, to a lot of girls online to watch out for stuff like that because there's just so many sick things going on online right now and it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse um one of the common re responses I hear from women is oh well he's married it's okay no it's not uh married guys are some of the sickest uh, bastards on the frickin' planet. Um, 
you look at uh, all those like guys that were torturing women in freaking dungeons under their houses for 30 years with multiple generations of freaking children birthed by the same tied up freaking women those are all married guys um, just throwing that out there uh, don't ever believe for a second that because they're married that you are somehow safe because you're not and if I have any subscribers left after this video it'll be I'll be really proud of you guys for sticking around um, I was talking about last night I'm not doing I'm not saying these things to offend people there's really scary stuff going on out there and uh, guys here's the thing about guys I'm probably gonna piss off a lot of guys by saying this they are more clever than they make themselves out to be they act <laughs> They act innocent and aloof to keep your guard down. It's one of their favorite things to do. They act, they'll literally act innocent and they will practice acting innocent until they get it down because they know women are so freaking aware of this stuff now, way more than they ever were in the past um, they <laughs> here's the other thing once they've I call it like latching on once they've latched on to a woman they will not let her go oh uh, shoot it doesn't matter if, if she leaves even the slightest even remote possibility that she may be interested even if that means just hanging around them, it did, they will never give up. They will never stop. And it can get really ugly. The reason, and the reason, again, why I'm thinking about this is because I saw Persephone doing her little seductive dance. And then someone, like, slash kissed her or whatever. Girls think that's really cute when they do things like that. You're sending a very bad message, though. Um, if you want to be treated just like everybody else, you got to act like everybody else. You can't, like, oh, I'm going to use my sex appeal. Oh, wait, I don't want to use my... I don't want to... I want people to be attracted to me now, or whatever. Okay, stop being... Stop being attracted to me. And, um... I'm never gonna I'm never gonna say that sexual assaults are okay because I don't buy into that. There's a lot of people that buy in, especially there's whole entire freaking countries that buy into the fact that sexual assault is okay and that sexual assault is brought on by women. I don't believe that. It's 110% the guy's responsibility. I don't give a flying crap what women wear. I don't care what they do. I don't care how flirty they act. I don't care how far with you they go intimately the second they say no the second they say stop it doesn't matter what the hell you're doing you're committing a very very freaking serious crime um and guys don't get that it's the new thing now there there's huge huge polls on this where um they're interviewing They're interviewing guys. They're interviewing guys. And the guys... It doesn't matter what country they're in. It doesn't matter how old they are. They're saying things that would scare the shit out of you. If they think it's anonymous. Something like 1 in 10 admits to sexually assaulting a woman. And, um... Or various unwanted advances, um, and then depending on it's it's ironic too because depending on what you call it is whether or not they'll admit to it or not. 
you start calling it different things and they'll start changing whether or not they'll start changing their story Centos is raging these are the things I worry about I don't have a daughter I don't have a child yet um, I have a wife though and this stuff scares the shit out of me um, if I had a daughter, I'd be absolutely freaking out. The things they do. I don't know how much you watch the news or whatever, but... Or maybe some of you are even watching this. And maybe you are one of those people. I don't know. I don't judge you. I don't judge you. I'm just saying... I'm, don't ever freaking let me find out that you're doing it. Um, there are... Just these new... The new... Here's the new one. Here's the newest one that I don't get. This one absolutely floors me where they find out if you're uh, a girl or not and then they immediately ask to see a naked picture of you if there's if there's parents out there with um, with daughters that haven't thought of this yet or if you have a sister or whatever this shit happens freaking every day there's that whole sexting thing that went on but they never actually explained I read up a lot about that trying to learn and figure out why the hell it's going on and the signs and they never said why though I found out why and when I was a kid or when I was a kid when I was going through college I was very naive I never understood what people were doing and it was it was like a college thing and I just assumed it was a college thing and everybody was consenting adults and that's the way it goes. I just figured, okay, college thing. I didn't bother to learn it like I should have at the time. And then when I went to school, or I mean when I was done with school and I worked at a warehouse, um, actually I was still at college, I was just at a different college. Um, I just thought, you know, okay, consenting adults, <sighs> I th just assumed they were consenting adults and they were just doing what they were doing. Da 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 da. da. Um, but what's happened now with the and the and the internet had started up back then, but people were just sending uh, the messages around on their phones. And it was kind of like a, a bragging thing. It wasn't like proactive. It was like I saw this girl at the party or whatever. Or I was I was dating this girl or whatever. Um, now it's a freaking prerequisite to any relationship. They just go, I want to see a naked picture of you or whatever before we'll meet up. It's freaking sick. I don't care what anyone says. It's sick. It's not okay to do. And it doesn't matter if they're married or not. Just circle back around with what I was talking about earlier. These are there's, these are married guys. And they will ask for a freaking naked picture of who they're playing MMOs with. Who's in their guild. These are people doing this. All over the place. And nobody stops them from doing it. Yeah, if they're consent of consenting adults or whatever. But then you have these very same people to walk around asking the ages of who they're talking to. I don't understand why we have to be worried about stuff like that. I don't understand why we can't focus on more important things like protecting women, protecting children, protecting each other. Something, you know, far more worthwhile, in my opinion making sure they're okay, making sure they have a safe place to go, making sure they feel welcomed and don't feel like there's a friction, a, blah, 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 a freaking sexual predator behind every single damn monitor. Because sometimes it freaking seems like there is. So, um, and I don't, I don't blame, I don't blame women for that. Um, 
no means no though, and you gotta make sure you gotta make sure you're not leading people on. You gotta freaking close the door. Oh, they did really good. Uh, healing was. We had them a little bit on healing. They had us uh, damage. Was fairly, this is a fairly balanced game, actually. Nice, uh, nice change of events. Anyway, I'm gonna give Persephone the MVP vote because she uh, came up and got that node. Well, I killed that guy. Anyway, girls, I guess if you're out there, don't worry about pissing guys off. Don't worry about what they're gonna think if you send them a picture. Don't freaking send them a picture. Who gives a shit? There's plenty of gills out there, and there's plenty of good people out there that you can play with who are not freaking closet perverts. You just look for the signs. Don't worry about sending a normal photo. Don't worry about sending any kind of photo. Don't worry about telling them your age. If they start acting weird on voice chat, they're probably being weird. Just leave. Who cares? It's not worth it. There's some guys do weird stuff on voice chat too. They're freaking perverts. I just freaking I would just leave. That's what I would do. It's not worth it. And if you gotta shut the door on somebody, literally or metaphorically, just do it. Tell them this is how it is. I'm not interested in you. We don't have some kind of freaking relationship. Um, this is who I am, but it has nothing to do with you. So go to hell. We're done. We're gone. Goodbye. Put them on ignore. And if they keep bugging you, frickin' page on them. GMs will take care of them. So, I don't know. Girls, act however you frickin' want. But if you're done with the guy, shut the door on them. And if they keep going, get their ass banned. Frickin' sick and tired of sexual predators frickin' everywhere I go. Because nobody will deal with them. Sick, 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 sick. That's the stuff. That's the stuff we need to be worried about. Not trying to take away people's guns. Not trying to give everybody health insurance. Health insurance is a completely freaking different problem. It's a huge, huge problem that can probably never be fixed. But we have all these problems that we can fix. Educate everybody. Let everybody know. Like, freaking internet bullying holy crap I'll probably do a whole video while I PvP just on bitching about internet bullying which is which is different it these the two topics interweave sexual predators and bullying interweave but two completely different things you know things that we can actually do stuff about oh so he's AFK Um, I guess we have to wait. I didn't see... Oh. Way the hell back there. Yeah. Sintas got a little ragey and needed to go take a cigarette. Um. There's things that we could fix. You know, making sure kids don't get bullied in school. Making sure women feel safe at work and make sure they feel safe on the internet. Yes, they should be able to deal with themselves or fix things themselves, but when it's just relentless, it should never be, there should never be pressure. They should be able to be whoever they want to be. And for all those other countries who think that they should have to wear all these freaking clothes or whatever, no, they should be able to wear whatever the hell they want. Um... Africa's a freaking hellhole. Uh, a lot of Africa is, with what they do to women, is terrible. Um, and you look at the freaking many, many, many of the countries in the Middle East. And I know they'll say, well, don't tell us how to run our country. No, you know what? Just don't treat women like that. Let them wear whatever the hell they want. Um, there was this thing where there was like a 
some football match or something and the girl was wearing like a dress that was like too low cut and they censored it and everybody got mad like the whole country or whichever i can't remember they got mad at the girl they're like she was disrespecting herself and she was disrespecting us and blah 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 but you know what women can wear whatever the hell they want leave them alone Leave them alone. Freaking ridiculous. If they want to wear... Who cares? If they want to wear a freaking bathing suit everywhere. Who cares? If guys if guys attack them, that's a guy problem. You know, it's not a woman problem. Freaking India. What they do to women in India right now. It doesn't... I don't care if they're wearing freaking three... Three robes over them. And ten robes. It's still going to... Happen, it's ridiculous. They should be able to walk around with freaking machetes if they want to. They should be able to have guns if they want to, or knives, or freaking knives in their boots. Let them wear whatever they want. As long as they feel safe and happy, that should be what's important. Now, schools, that's a whole different other freaking kid and caboodle. That's why I said I'm going to talk about that on a different one. But I'm going to shut this one off, and... I said this was going to be my last one. I think this is going to be my last one. So I'm going to shut this off, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I know some of this stuff gets kind of involved, <laughs> but these are the kinds of things I think about. So I just want everybody to be safe. I mean, it shouldn't be too much to ask. I don't want there to be a bunch of sick freaking predators running around. I don't think it should be too much to ask. So many damn sick people out there, though. Anyway, I'm going to shut this off. Talk to you guys later, and at the rate the uploads are going, this will probably be up by tomorrow, in which case I should be working on HD videos by then. So I'll talk to you guys later, and thanks for watching. Leave comments. If any of these conversations are interesting to you, go ahead and comment. We'll talk about it. I don't care. This doesn't have to just be about Star Wars. Um... If I just talked about PvP, it honestly, it would be awfully freaking boring. So, uh, I don't know. It was never really... It was supposed to just be commentary. It's commentary about everything. And bullying, cyber-stalking, and all that. It, It's just as much a part of TOR. <laughs> TOR is an MMO, I mean... I don't know. It all applies, in my opinion. Just like Second, just like Second Amendment. You know, I was watching my smuggler running around a while back, and I thought to myself, "Oh, my smuggler's open carrying, and nobody freaking cares. There isn't some freaking left wing. Like, did you ever notice that in Star Wars?" There's no, like, left-wing freaking liberals running around trying to take everybody's guns away. Even the Empire's not trying to do that. The Empire's freaking armed to the damn teeth. The Republic is armed to the teeth. You know, does anyone ever think about these things? I mean, it's like... That's why I think it has every bit to do with Star Wars as everything does. Yeah, Vader tries to wipe out all the Jedi, but is that a good metaphor? I don't know. I don't know if that's a good metaphor or not. He didn't, he, he, or maybe the Emperor ignorantly thought that wiping out all the Jedi would help them, but... There's always going to be Jedi. There's no way that they will ever be able to find them all. And I think that's kind of the dichotomy. Vader wasn't trying to wipe out all the Jedi. Vader was... Vader was looking for somebody to overthrow the Emperor with. So that's what the Sith always do. Um, yeah. I mean, so that's how I tie all this around. But I'm going to shut this off. I'll see you guys in in the war zones starting HD videos tomorrow. 
thanks everyone for all the support. This has been an awesome couple weeks. So let's keep it going. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. I'm shutting it off now. I'm serious. Bye.